My name is Braxton Mollett, and I'm a credit specialist here at Washington Trust Bank, and I started in as a financial concierge. A financial concierge is the jack of all trades of retail branch banking. I do everything from teller transactions to home mortgages and helping small businesses reach their goals. There's not a certain level of education required to be a financial concierge. People come from all different backgrounds. A lot of people do have some college experience, but they're not all finance majors. There's people from every background that are successful and can do well in this career. In the financial concierge role, math skills are not a primary focus. Maybe some very basic math and arithmetic, just basically being a cashier is the level of math experience that you need. Um, but other than that, all the ratios and everything are done with a calculator on the computer system and there's no science. It's really not a role where you have your head down and you're doing calculations all day. It's really about being a people person and being able to help customers. A good reason why someone should consider a job in a bank would be that there is a lot of opportunities and there is a lot of different types of skill sets that are useful. If you were able to get your foot in the door in something like a financial concierge role and become a jack of all trades and learn a little bit of every sector, you can find a direction that you will be interested in. I, what I enjoy about being in the credit specialist role is I'm becoming more of an expert. So while in the financial concierge, a lot of times you're referring per, a person to the right individual, as a credit specialist, I am that expert and I am that point of contact. So that's what I really enjoy about that. So a typical day is we open up. I'll usually start on the teller line and greet all the regular customers that come in first thing in the morning. I would help them do their typical withdrawals, deposits, and just your everyday banking experience. And then I will um, reach out to some customers that I had speak to earlier in the day and give them a call and maybe work on, see if they're ready to do that mortgage that they were preparing for or ask them, find out how their small business is doing and really just be that point of contact for the customers and be able to help them with their financial goals. One thing that really surprised me when I started working in branch banking is how much of a difference you really could make for customers. I'd have customers who would call me on a regular basis just to chat and to check in and it was really great because there were sometimes I was really able to guide them and keep them from going into a bad financial situation. For example, there was one time I had an elderly customer who was about to fall victim to fraud. And because she called me and I had that relationship with her, I was able to direct her in a way to avoid that. And that, was, that really stood out to me because that could have really ruined her financial life. Some of the skills that I think are really beneficial in the financial concierge roles is going to be customer service, first and foremost. Um, some sales experience is always great. And really that's the primary things. It's about building relationships with customers and helping them achieve their goals.